Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about spinning reels. So what I have here to start is just a couple of different spinning reels. The reason why I have two here is because these two reels are slightly different in that one has a trigger, which might be really good for young kids, and one does not. I'm going to start with this little Zebco here. This is the one that does have the trigger, and it actually came on that orange rod that you saw in earlier videos. The rod and reel both came from Amazon, and it costs just about $30, so it's not expensive at all. Fairly decent for a young angler uh, to get out there on the water. We'll start with just going over a couple of parts here. All right, so this top part right here is the part that fits onto the rod, and that's where you put your reel seats over and you tighten that down. Moving down to this side, you'll see that there's a big button here. What that actually is is a screw that's holding the handle on the other side. Most spinning reels, you can switch left-handed or right-handed, and it's fairly simple. So let's quickly show you how that's done. So as I mentioned, on this far side, there's a screw here to take out. It's got a plastic cover. It is a fairly long screw on this reel, so it may take a second or two to get undone. There it is. Flip it back. Handle comes straight out. Back to the other side. And put the screw back in this side. Snug that up, and now you can see this is set up now for a right-hand reel. So just a couple of more basic parts, and we're all done. So if you turn the reel around, you can see on the front, this part right here screws in and out, and that's your drag. It also can be used to take the spool off completely, but this puts tension on the line. And you can loosen that and tighten that as you please We'll cover that a little bit later on. So the next part then is the bale. The bale is what you use to free up the line. If you were going to cast this, you would have your rod here. You would hold the line, open the bale, and then you're able to cast. On this particular model, there is a trigger right here. And that trigger opens the bale and holds the line for you. And that's why I say it's good for kids. So there's just one drawback to having that trigger, although it makes it very easy for kids to cast. Um, it always wants to come back to this center position. So the reel is not anti-reverse. And what I mean by that is, if you've cast this out and you're reeling, and you get hit by a fish while that trigger is down, watch what happens when I pull this line. Do you see how that wants to come back to the top? before it stops, that little slack in your line may cause you to lose a fish. Not a huge deal when you're starting out, but just something for you to think about later on. So I just switched reels here quickly, just so you can see the difference. So on the last one, that had the trigger on it, and that always wants to go back to the top when a fish hits, so you get that little bit of slack. And on this reel here, which is a little bit higher quality reel, right away. doesn't matter where the bale goes, you have that anti-reverse everywhere. So the difference between the two reels here just quickly, this reel right here with the trigger is a Zebco Quick Cast. That'll run you somewhere around $30 if you can even find them nowadays. I find them very, uh, very hard to find there in the last couple of years and we don't use them anymore. This reel right here is a Shimano Sienna 2500 FE. This one you can find at Canadian Tire, and you can also find it at Walmart. I actually found it uh, fairly cheap at Walmart. It was only $30. So that's it, guys. Just a quick video on spinning reels and parts and advantages and disadvantages of having that trigger on there. See you on the water.